morning from our royal suite. We spent the morning in this hot tub and we were looking out into the ocean and watched us pull up to Coco Key and then we started pulling away from Coco Key. We knew this was this might happen because there is a cold front coming through. It's very windy outside. So the captain came on the PA system and said it is way too wavy and windy to dock in Coco Key. Very, very good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is uh, your uh, captain, Frank Martinson, speaking from the bridge. The waves and the swell was splashing over the pier. This unfortunately means that we have to cancel our call to Coco Key today. And then I checked James Van, James Van Fleet's Twitter account and he was posting photos of the dock at Coco Key and literally the waves are crashing over the pier. So Yikes. even if the ship docked, there would literally be no way for passengers to walk to the islands. So we just ordered um, breakfast from the main dining room. We have the breakfast menu right here. They have the eggs benedict that we got on our last Royal Caribbean cruise. Um, so we ordered that. I'm really excited for it. We're not worried about missing perfect day because no. look at this room that we're yeah. in. <laughs> Look at this. There's a hot tub over there. Like, yeah. we get to stay in this room? Oh, bummer. It's very rare for ships to miss Coco Key because of weather. Yeah. Like, if you're watching this, really, like, don't worry about it happening. It's so, it. so rare. Now, if you're um, on a Disney ship. And if you're on a Disney ship, you will miss Castaway Key probably half the time. I don't know about that. But, but yeah, I we were literally going to only go to the island for, like, maybe, like, an hour or two. Get so. a sandwich. Get a chicken sandwich. Yeah, so I don't maybe. think... It, I don't really care because... We have this room, so yeah, that's fine with us. So yeah, today's a sea day. Um, Unknown to us. Yeah, surprise sea day. The funny thing about this room is, um, I guess that wasn't our room service that walked by, but this door is wooden, and 99% of the time on a cruise ship, your door will be metal, so you can have magnets. So obviously magnets do not stick, so you can't put really fancy, cool, bought on Etsy uh, yeah. magnets. Um, but what's weird is we can actually hear the hallway. I'll be like standing in the like the living room area here and or like I don't even know what this is. Like this is the entry, the foyer. Like this foyer. This entrance way is literally bigger than like most state rooms. It's crazy. It seriously is. <laughs> it's kind of a waste of space. It is. <laughs> but, but like people will walk by and they'll be like, oh, that's the royal suite. And like, you can hear them. And like we can hear them say it. <laughs> and then you're just like, that's us. Yeah. <laughs> everyone is like, oh, that room. I bet that room has like four bedrooms. Well, surprise, it only has one. But here's what's great is our bedroom has this door. Um, and the other side closes too, obviously, but so we closed, we actually did close this door. Um, I slept like a baby last night. Well, I feel yeah. like that's a bad saying because babies wake up. I didn't wake no. up. But yeah, the ship was rocking a lot last night, but, but because we closed these doors, like the sound wasn't a problem, but I don't even think we would have woken up anyway. We're pretty sure that these couches over here convert to beds. Yeah. So I can totally see this room being shared, either if it's like children or maybe another couple. Because like when you sit on the bed, you can kind of tell it's a pull-up. Wait, you when you sit on the couch. I mean, it's gotta be, right? Well, I saw on the back of the couch here, we're being inspectors, but it almost looks like from here, you can see that like the back of the couch might like turn down. Do you see that right here? I don't, wait, let's, let's pull up the cushion. Okay, we're too stupid to figure out how to convert a couch into a sofa bed. Does this not? Oh, I think, it, I think it's like a twin bed. I think I that it like comes know. down. But isn't it crazy that this room only has one bedroom? Look, I'm doing oh. it. Oh. Okay, it looks like it converts, but don't, you know, book your cruise based off of that. <laughs> but also, <laughs> what we were also saying is that like, if you were to do this with like two couples, like the couple that stays in that room has to pay like, two Wait, thirds what? and then yeah. this couple pays one third yesterday when we boarded literally we were so like it was it was a weird moment for us because we were, we were exhausted we were exhausted from the drive we had there was there was crazy traffic when we drove in but i i blacked out i don't even know i don't think we really gave this room the tour it deserves yeah so i kind of want now that we've like been in here like for almost 24 hours now not really but we Whatever, found like hours. some hidden spot. Yeah, we found some things. I think we should go over the room again because I literally don't know what we said about the room. Yeah. Um, 
I, I think I was speechless too. I don't I don't think we even described anything about those things. Yeah. We were just sitting in the hot tub and we were thinking like what we paid for this room is insane. We paid just over a thousand dollars per person. I mean that's a lot, but for what we're getting I think it's a great it's an amazing deal. Because like you said, you compared it to a Disney Wish three night yeah. balcony room and it's cheaper than that. The Disney Wish three night balcony was like or veranda was like it was like 2600 or something. And that's a standard veranda. Yeah. So this is our baby grand piano. <laughs> Why do you call it baby grand? That's literally the technical term is that it's baby. I think it means if you play it enough, it'll grow up to be a regular grand. <laughs> I don't know, but I think it's funny that like the industry term is baby, baby grand. But um, I, I Googled it. It's like, it's like shorter than a regular grand piano. Oh, so that's why it's a baby. And people said like, it doesn't sound as good, but I'm going to play you the only song I know from elementary school that I still remember, it's engraved into my brain. Thank you for this. Wow. I don't know what song that is, but literally learned that when I was like eight and it stuck with me. That's all I know. I wish I knew how to actually play like the Office theme song. I looked up a YouTube. <laughs> okay, tell them why though. I looked up a YouTube video of the Office Gary did it first, but I I was thinking it before you. Brian loves loves love to steal anything <laughs> that I do and pretend like he does it himself. First of all, when I was in high school, I did know how to play the Office theme really? song. Yes, and I've told you this a hundred thousand times. <laughs> <laughs> And that's why when I came in, I was like, I'm going to try to play it again. And I was looking up tutorials and then bam, Brian's trying to steal it from me. Anyway, I pulled up the YouTube tutorial and the guy's like, here's how to do it. It's so easy. Follow these steps. And then he's like, <laughs> and it's like, yeah, right. Imagine playing like Mozart. <laughs> like <laughs> I was like, okay, it's going to, it's going to take me three hours to learn how to do this. I'm you not, have not good um, hands for the piano. Yeah. My hands are very small. Okay. Oh Is there something God. I can help you with? No. <laughs> okay. That was Siri. Okay, no, okay, but my hands are really small and short and stubby and like arthritic. <laughs> <laughs> arthritic. <laughs> I feel like my hands can't play piano, but your hands would be good at playing. One of these days I'm gonna learn how to do the office theme song. We're still waiting for our room service, but I'm gonna just, show off some of my favorite parts of the room while we wait for that. So here's our, I think this is like, what is this like a wet bar? Is that what you would call this? Yeah. Wet bar. So this is an actual fridge. And if you see like, there's actually ice in there. In a normal room, that is just a cooler and it doesn't get that cold. So I really like having something that gets actually cold. Last night I came out from the bedroom. It was pitch black except we had the TV on. And so I came out to turn the TV off and it felt like I was walking so long. And yeah. Like once I turned it off, the room was so dark. I was like, there could be <laughs> murderers, demons, anything in the room. And it's like, it's so big, I can't see them. Yeah. <laughs> this room is literally 200 square feet bigger than our house. It's crazy. There's actually, I feel like they could have done more. Like they could have used the space better. This, the entire area between the bedroom and this couch uh -huh. is completely yeah. unutilized. It is, it, it is unutilized, but the, the perk of that is it feels so open and grand. It does. Also, I've told Brian a lot that we could put a table here and have my family and his family come together for some sort of reception. Oh and I feel like that would be a good use of this space. Yeah. <laughs> if you had like a family reunion or something on, on a cruise and you had, you know, like grandma and grandpa in this room and everybody could come in here, that would be really cool. It would be. Or if you had like a group cruise or something. So here's the thermostat. There's actually multiple thermostats in here. Not sure how they section it off. I think it's probably this main area. And then the bedroom is a separate one. I'm not really sure. Cause here's the, um, the other thermostat. So here's the main bathroom. This thing is insane. Um, now the shower here, this shower is probably, you know, it is the best cruise shower we've ever seen. It is very big. It's hard to get a sense of scale. There's three, um, shower heads. So as you can see, you can point them all towards you at the same time and have the most insane amount of water coming at you in your shower. 
It's amazing. I love high pressure in the lot of water. Okay, so then we have the main bathroom area there with the, with the bidet. We have two sinks, lots of counter space, this bench. I don't know what you need a bench for. This tub that Carrie used last night. Oh, you know what I just realized is there's a little thing to like wash your hair with. And then right next to the main door is the bathroom for all of your guests that you will have. <laughs> so they don't have to use the main bathroom um, with a cool sink. And then a toilet right there. And then another walk-in shower. And the showers and bathtub have this fancy soap. And we learned this is one of our perks for being in the suite. And also two shower heads um, with separate knobs. So it looks like you can turn both of them on just like the other one. The shampoo is peppermint scented, which I really like, and the body wash was rum scented. You can smell like, there's there's a there's a joke there somewhere. Pirate, pirates uh, drink rum. Oh yeah, you could be a pirate, that's why they did that. I love that we can just put our suitcases down. So we haven't unpacked really, because we're just like, well, let's put our suitcases wide open like that. It's only a three night cruise. It just saves time. And it's not like our suitcases are blocking the hallway in the room. Um, another cool thing is this switch right here by the bed controls the lights for the entire room. So like when we were in bed, we just hit that switch and literally everything turned off. And then in the morning I hit it again and everything came back on. It's really nice that it changes everything. You don't have to go around to each thing and change each light switch. Very nice. And then this window is, is kind of, it's almost scary in a way where if you would literally stand right here, like there's not really much beneath you on the ship. So it's kind of scary, but it's, it's very cool. And I kind of like that it's another section of the room instead of more balcony, because the balcony is so big as it is, you're like, you don't need more balcony space. I love these cushiony chairs. It makes laying out here so nice. So right now it's 61 degrees. I think it's gonna warm up to 70 today, but it is very windy. The waves aren't that bad. It's not like Alaska level bad, um, but we actually have some, have some blue sky coming through, so that's nice. Um, so this is where we were this morning. Um, now this hot tub, you fill it up with water when you want to use it. And I was thinking like, oh, like how long is that going to take? It takes like two minutes here. Let me turn this on. So it's actually a lot of water that comes through there. And I literally turned it on in the morning. I went to the bathroom and I came back and like the thing was full. So it fills up very quickly. And the water is super hot. I was also worried about like the water not being hot enough in there, but there's, there's no hot or cold. It's just hot and it is very hot. Like we had to like sit up um, out of the hot tub because it was way too hot. So um, obviously you can like turn it on and like let it sit for a bit to cool down. But I think that's awesome how hot it is. Um, and if you want it to be colder, I feel like if it was really hot outside, you could just fill it with water and let it sit and then it'll cool down and it's kind of more enjoyable. It's like kind of like a pool in a way if it's really hot outside, but you know, obviously it's very windy in, in the 60s today, so we want it hot. But that's, the hot tub is- Amazing. That's, that's, that's part of the room. That's, that's why we um, booked it. A hundred percent, yes. I mean, what, you don't even need any, you can just literally stay in your room, go in the hot tub and it's, that's all you need. We don't have to leave. We don't have to leave. They're have... bringing us food right now. From the dining room. There is one negative of the room, but in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't matter. And that is, there is noise. Now, I think later today we should see what is above this room, but we've, ha and obviously the ship is moving a lot. Like there, it, there's a lot of motion. So it could be that, and it's very windy, but We've heard a lot coming from above us, which I'm kind of surprised about, because like normally we don't hear anything above us on a cruise. Yeah, and then also the noise of the people in the hallway too, so yeah. oh, it's just horrible in here. <laughs> Nobody no, should book these, so if you have one of these reservations, release it, No, no. and no. then we'll take it. <laughs> it's not bad enough that you're gonna like lose sleep, um, but and I was wondering like, is it because we have so much ceiling space it might that, be that normally like on a cruise like we're only we have only a, like a little bit of ceiling space but now because we have this huge area that if something happens way over there we can hear it in our room it might be i don't know I, and i later i want to see what's above us but I'm kind of surprised that you can hear stuff but again it's not that bad and in, in the grand scheme of things 
it doesn't matter because the room is amazing. The bed is much better, like much better than the normal Royal Caribbean beds. That bed is so much softer. We like a soft bed and normally on Royal, the beds are better for people who like firm mattresses. Um, but it's not as good as the Disney beds, but nothing can be as good as those beds. If you can find this room two years away and get a crazy deal, I think you should, because it's amazing. That's how we did it. It was also in the middle of a pandemic and an industry shutdown, so. They needed people to be booking things, and yeah. so <laughs> we helped them out. So I don't know if, if you try to look at this ship two years in the future, I don't know if it's gonna be the same deal as us, but if you can do it, I would totally do it. It's I would do it again in a heartbeat. Yeah. <laughs> okay, last thing I want to show. Okay. In our bedroom, I noticed this. Actually, Carrie noticed this. I don't, I'm not gonna- Thank you for <laughs> at least giving me credit for whatever yeah. it is. I almost stole it again. There's a, a little Cisco, um, looks like an access point um, router type of thingy. And the internet is the fastest internet I've ever seen on a ship. Not only is this bigger than our house, the internet is better than our house. Literally, it's almost 300 megabits per second. That is unheard of. If you have 300 megabits at home, you have a very fast connection. We should be streaming like Hulu or something. Also, the ship has Starlink. There was actually a paper and it, it was talked about like how to access the internet on your phone and it said, um, we now have Starlink on the ship too. Oh, so, that's nice. Yeah, but it's, I don't know if it's where the ship is right now, if it had good satellite connection or if it's because of our room. I don't know, but it's amazing. Okay, it's here. Finally. Finally. <laughs> okay, let's see, let's. Let's, let's un unveil. Yeah, unboxing. Welcome to our unboxing video. Oh, pancakes. Pancakes, ooh. Okay. Ooh. Oh, eggs, no, eggs Benedict. Benedict. Oh, that looks so good. <gasps> wow, ooh. eggs Benedict. Yeah, this is, we've had this in the main dining room and it was amazing, so. Yeah. Oh, I'm so, my mouth is watering. Bone apple teeth. We ate our breakfast and then we were like, hey, the internet's really good here. Let's live stream our room on YouTube. And we started live streaming our room. And then all of a sudden. The captain came on the announcement and said, there's a raft and we're going to stop our ship right here. Call the Coast Guard and rescue this raft. So the ship came to a dead stop and we turned sharply and I could feel the ship yeah. like come to a sudden turn. And then um, literally there's, there was a raft in the water with about over 10 people, 10 to 14 people on it. 14, I don't know, I can't count. It was very hard to see. I couldn't tell if people were laying down in there. Um, and we rescued this boat, this raft. I, I can't, I, I, it's crazy. It I, was the craziest thing we've ever seen on board. Yeah. Um, I feel really thankful that we were here today because we were supposed to be a perfect day. And yeah. instead we randomly came to this one part of the ocean and, and we, we found them it's and insane. we rescued them. Yes, the yeah, captain came to a stop, said, we're calling the Coast Guard, we're rescuing these people. And we just witnessed this whole thing of, they rowed over to our ship, they got tied up to our ship and then came on board. Everyone is cheering now. Um, people were cheering on the raft, people were cheering on our ship. We did hear some people yelling something about Cuba, but it was all in Spanish. So it does sound like they might have been from Cuba. Yeah. Um, because that's the one word we could kind of make out that wasn't in Spanish, but it's it's insane. You can see, like, I think that's the wind jammer over there, and people are just like pushed up against really? the window. Do you see that? Oh my God. And then like every balcony, everybody's out. You can see down on deck four, everybody's out down there. Like, everybody is out looking. If we did not have a sea day, we would not have rescued these people. It is insane. So right now, the, the, their boat slash raft is tied up. It's hard to see, because our balconies kind of jut out from the side of the ship, but they are tied up to our ship right here. And they got off their boat. Now they're on our ship. I'm sure um, they're, they're, in good, they're in good hands now that we're gonna give them food and water and everything they need. Um, so for the short term, that's great. I don't know what happens after though. I don't know if the, when the Coast Guard comes, if they bring them to America or to Cuba, I'm not really sure at all. 
this this happens kind of like it seems like once a month this happens where a cruise ship is sailing and there has to be a, res a rescue operation so we've never seen it but it's crazy that this happened i don't it know it, it's insane like um i'm glad everyone's okay yeah i can't imagine the weather they had to go through because the cold front just came through it's probably been rainy super windy they said the winds were 40 knots super wavy the waves are crashing over the pier at coco key um yeah, I the cannot... fact that we couldn't dock at coco key because yeah. it was such bad swells conditions and, just... and 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 they were out there in it it's just yeah. it's horrible to think it's, about it's insane they made it though like obviously their, their boat didn't capsize so that's good um it's just it's crazy they're still tied up it's, it's so hard to see because our balcony it goes over the ship there but um we were literally live streaming we just started live streaming in our room you can probably find that video on our page yeah because we were just like here's our room and then all of a sudden it's like now we're in a rescue operation um so if you want to watch that video you can it's probably on our youtube page somewhere of the live stream like watch the replay or whatever i don't know we're on liberty of the seas we have the royal suite so we have a piano behind us it's insane yeah. there's a hot tub on our balcony so on Liberty of the Seas today, we're having a bit oh, of... We're oh, we're getting an announcement right now. Very, very good morning. <laughs> Your captain's <laughs> making an announcement. Captain, uh, Frank, yes, we have uh, stopped the vessel here. As we have uh, discovered uh, with uh, probably some refugees in it. Okay. Uh, okay, so, so the captain <laughs> just made an announcement. This is crazy. Um, there's a raft. Um, it's very rough seas right now. There's a raft with refugees on it that need assistance. And he said the seas are so rough that we, we can't to, even uh, do the operation right now. And he just contacted the, contacted the Coast Guard. This We're actually guys. still turning. I'm, I don't see the raft anywhere. No. This is crazy. Oh, we wait, will... is that it? Oh my God, that's it. Oh shoot, holy crap. <gasps> Let me turn the camera. Can I do that? We're on the Liberty there's a, of the Seas. We're on Liberty of the Seas. There's a raft. I believe um, we're just south of Freeport, Bahamas. Okay. It looks like everyone's okay. People are cheering. How many people is it, like 10? Yes, it, it very much seems like they want to be rescued right now. Um, they are very happy to be next to the ship. We heard more cheering, so we came outside. I'm not sure what's happening. I think I think everyone is on our ship now. I think they rescued everybody. Oh, they just, they painted the, sh the their boat red. They put red spray, spray paint on their boat. Why did they do that? I think, you can what? smell the spray paint. You can't. Someone in the live stream said they're going to set the boat out to see because I was wondering, are they going to put our boat, are they going to put their boat onto our ship? Or are they just going to let it float out there? And someone in the live stream said they're going to let it float. There it goes. They rescued everybody. Look at that thing. I would not want to be on that boat during a cold front. That is insane. Or any time, really. The thing is made out of wood. There's some writing on it. I can't really see what that says. Do you know if it's made out of wood? There's some backpacks on there and clothes. But they are just letting that thing go. Um, I think they painted it red. Uh, announcement's coming on. just made an announcement he said 17 people were on that boat for 15 days they would not have made it if we didn't stop and rescue them no that is insane they were probably close to not making it yeah after 15 days 15 days is a lot in 40 knot winds i cannot imagine so they are now safe this is insane i think they painted the spray paint on that on their boat red as an indicator that 
there is nobody on board that we already rescued them yeah. and now we're just letting it drift off into sea because we don't want another ship to see it and go you know is that a boat that needs rescuing but look at it there it goes they're just letting it drift off into sea i cannot believe this i literally this is insane it is that's a lot of people and a lot of time it is so crazy it is also very crazy that we're like look at our royal suite and then there's literally people about to lose their life it's not right <laughs> it's not right it makes me um, feel really yucky staying here but they're safe so that's good thank god that we didn't dock at coco key that's really what i keep coming back to if we did if we docked at coco key we would not have we wouldn't have been people. here it's just this is this whole thing is unbelievable i know this happens at least like once a month i don't know for sure but this happens kind of often yeah i can't believe we witnessed uh, this rescue it's crazy um i'm kind of speechless i don't know what I, to say right yeah now. i don't really i'm I, yeah um but I, I i would say like if you can find our replay of the um whole experience that we just had it, it was probably kind of crazy to watch because like literally we're just looking around our room and then all of a sudden bam we're doing a rescue operation that was crazy it's kind of hard for me to go like okay let's go in the water slide. i know <laughs> i need like a, a break like an emotional break i know it's a weird feeling right now being in this room and i yeah it is very weird um i think we just need to remember that th it, we saved them and we should be happy because it could have been so much worse. Oh, I can't believe 17 people. Okay, we uh, headed out of our room. We're gonna go to Cafe Promenade, get some fake Starbucks. Nothing better to clear your head yeah, with than Starbucks. We, we are like, oh, there's someone's taking a photo. We are literally, um, we're kind of- I'm shaken. Yeah, we're kind of distraught, honestly. It's, it's tough. I'm, I mean, Someone commented and said that they will be sent back to Cuba. And that they they'll be, probably go to jail. That they might go to jail. Now, we don't know if that's true. That's what someone commented. It just um, makes me feel really upset. But, I mean, the thing is, is like, at least they're alive. We're literally going to try to clear our head because we're kind of, like, we're not in a great state right now. No. We're going to try to forget about it because we know they're safe right now. And that's what matters. So, there's no point of us worrying about it anymore. So... Yeah, I don't know. I think we're gonna like explore the ship after we got our fake Starbucks. Yeah. Okay, so we came up to deck 12, um, and we have a sign here. Uh, it's it, very legible. It's almost, they've printed it on both sides, so you can't even read it. Closed but it says, due to closed bad, to bad weather. weather. We can't go out on the deck because it's too windy, I guess. Oh. So. And Brian really wanted to walk around. I know. We, just, we literally have not seen this yet. I know. <laughs> Well, I mean, oh there's obviously God. people below, so we can just go a deck down and then we'll walk on deck 11. Yeah, let's do that. All right. And now we're gonna walk on this crazy bridge that Carrie hates. I just don't like the idea that I could fall down to my death onto the promenade. I'm sorry that that bothers you. We were just sitting down for a while. Like, our minds are mush. We need to like, decompress a little. We really do. I, I can't even get over what just happened. And in my mind, is just like, what, what is what happening? What happened? <laughs> it's just crazy. We just need to like keep telling ourselves, like, everyone is okay. So like, we should stop worrying about it. Yeah. The power of now. Stop worrying about it. There's a ship out here. This must be Oasis. I think this is Oasis of the Seas out there. Yeah, because they were supposed to park next to us at Perfect Day today, but yeah. they couldn't because of the same reasons we couldn't. Yeah. So here Too wavy. It looks bigger in real life than it does on the screen. You can definitely tell it's an Oasis class because of its butt. You can see the amphitheater. Yeah. It's chilly out. It really is. My watch is telling me it's 57 right now. I wish that I had closed-toed shoes. Brian's wearing shorts, and here I am like, ooh. I'm wearing shorts and a jacket. Here's the solarium. Everyone's in their hoodies in the solarium. Um, this is the 16 and up area. Oh, we should walk on the bridge. Not the captain's bridge, but... This one I'm not afraid of because I'll fall in the water and I can survive that. Nobody is in the pool. The pool is open, but it is probably too cold to swim. Yeah. Oh yeah, it is chilly. It's very windy. It's a good trip to have our private hot tub on. It really is. Oh yeah, the hot tub is very busy. <laughs> oh, it is so cold. 
<laughs> oh, the wind is insane. Keep in mind, we had a cruise two weeks ago and it was lovely weather, okay? Yeah. There actually are a couple of people in the pool. One of them is a child, so, you know. Kids will do anything. Brian wanted to go on the water slide today. I don't think that's... I don't think it's possible right now, because I... Oh yeah, because one, it's up on the deck that they're not letting people on. And two, it's freaking cold. Yeah. There's the kitty... What do they call it? Splash Away Bay? Is that what it's called? Closed. Oh, it is closed because I mean, it would be way too it's too dangerous. It would be too cold. Holy mackerel! If my watch is right, it's 57 degrees and and oh very um, breezy. <laughs> Someone in the Facebook group made a joke that this was an Alaskan cruise today. This <laughs> is really funny. Yeah, we have we have to head inside. It's way too cold. Oh, there's like a wind tunnel in here now. <laughs> okay, let's go get food. We're going to Johnny Rockets, but we can't go to deck 12 because it's closed for wind so we went through the arcade and now we can get to Johnny Rockets without going outside we actually have to walk outside for just one second and here we oh go God, we're not even the only people to think of this usually this place is empty are. you're right okay, so they were packed in there I've never seen Johnny Rockets so packed yeah but what's really cool is he said do you want to do it to go and we're like yeah because we have a table in our room right and it's two decks down so we place our order to go he says it's gonna be ready in 15 minutes, so in the meantime, we're just gonna explore some more. Yeah. They do have a duck machine. Thank God. It's crazy how busy the, the indoor areas of the ship are because nobody can be outside because it's too cold. It's really crazy to me. I guess I didn't realize how much capacity is out on the pool deck. Yeah. Also, how come there's no arcades on a Disney cruise ship? That would kill on a Disney cruise ship. It really would. And by that I mean make a lot of money, not actually murder. We're on deck 11 right now, and our deck, or our room is on deck 10, and it's right by the elevator bank, so it would be right here. Right over here. So this is where our room is, and so this is some sort of crew area. Oh, and a bathroom. So I guess something in that crew area is this. Is what, what was, we're hearing. That's what we were hearing. It's very and, interesting. And also we were hearing the flushes from that bathroom. We were. But yeah, this is exactly where our room would be on deck 10. On Adventure of the Seas, we were directly below a bathroom and we didn't hear anything. So it's, you know, variable per cruise ship. Yeah. Okay, we came up a few decks to 14. So now, here we go, the sweet lounge. This is our first time that we're able oh, to go in. What a moment. Look how like grand this looks. Like, whoa, the sweet lounge. I don't think that we're dressed about We're not. You're supposed to be dressed in like, what is it, like business casual kind of? I don't know, but... Oh my god, I didn't even bring that on board. Ooh, it looks very nice in here. It does. Great views outside. This is really nice. It is really nice. I feel like I have to whisper. I know. They have the concierge here. This is the guy that um, escorted us onto the ship. Jason. Yeah, so I think you could come here and make your reservations or do whatever you need to do at guest services you can do there, probably without a line. We got some snacks here, some chocolate chip cookies right now, and a coffee machine, hand washing station. Okay, let's check out the deck. So this is the outside deck of the suite lounge. I'm surprised uh, we're allowed out here. Yeah, there's no loungers out here, just tables. I don't know if that's because of the wind though. Maybe it's too windy for lounge chairs, I'm not sure. Oh, the, the slides are all turned off. Oh, the slides are turned off. The weather's too bad for the slides. Even the tidal wave is turned off. That's a shame. Yeah. I was literally considering it. Like, should I put them on my swimsuit, go on the slide very quickly, and then just run back to the room and change? Because it's so cold, but I guess it's not an option I don't think it's gonna today. happen. Yeah. So right outside the suite lounge is Olive or Twist. Even this place is always completely empty and yeah. it's got people in it. So this is a bar, this is like near the top of the ship. But the great thing about this bar is that the views are really cool. Yeah. And there's Oasis again. Very quiet in here too. So right out here, on the opposite side of the suite lounge is the Diamond Club. Which again, you need to be dressed up for when we're wearing rags, kind of. <laughs> Same sort of machines. Coffee machines. Same cookies. Same cookies. Basically a smaller version of what we just saw. Yeah, some water. Um, the chairs do look nice though. And then we have another outdoor section here with just chairs. So here's what you're missing if you're not diamond. And honestly, 
not that much. We never come here, like, at all. We literally come in to look at it, and then we're never in it the rest of the cruise. You can get this from Cafe Promenade. Yeah, or the Windjammer. Yeah. yeah. So this is our first cruise as Diamond Plus. Here's the main difference between Diamond Plus and Diamond. We get 50, or um, buy one, get one free specialty dining. We get an extra drink voucher, so we get five free drinks a day. So you can use that on your proudly serving Starbucks, um, a regular adult alcoholic drink, or um, you could even get soda or Red Bull or a bottle of water. I think another cool thing is that we get an extra day of free internet. Yeah. I think at Diamond, you got one day of free internet, but now yeah. we get two. And now I'm kind of thinking like on three day cruises, do we even need to purchase an internet package anymore? I don't know, because we get two days, so I don't think so. Yeah. Those are the main differences, though. It's not really much. It's not that much. Once you get to Pinnacle, then things start. You get Which a lot more perks. We'll be doing very <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's always, like, crazy to see, like, when nobody's out here. Yeah. Everyone's in the hot tubs, though. I think we need to go to, into our hot tub after lunch. I think you're right about that. Look at Oasis. Yeah. We should check Cruise Mapper to make sure that we're not calling like Symphony Oasis. I pulled up my little Cruise Mapper app and it is Oasis that's right next to us, Liberty. Great app, Cruise Mapper. Is it an app? Yeah, I use the app. Oh, there's I just use the website. Yeah, there's also a website. Okay, we got our DoorDash here. <laughs> I'm so glad we were able to do this. This is our, our Johnny Rockets. It was so crowded in there that I'm slightly concerned that this isn't even ours. Yeah. Okay, the first thing says club sandwich, which is what Brian ordered, so that's good. Grilled chicken sandwich, right, that is, is what I ordered, thank goodness. <laughs> it was just like crazy. It was chaos. We were like, are you sure? Okay, so French fries. Ooh, la oh. la. So we both got French fries. Onion rings. We both got onion rings. Yeah. Here, I'll show my sandwich. Okay, see, that's my sandwich. <laughs> that's all you need to see. And then it looks like we got ranch. Ranch. And what are these? Oh yeah, chocolate shake. Did I say that already? I don't yeah. even know. But yeah, we're gonna eat this in our luxurious suite now. And then I think we're gonna go in the hot tub after this. Our private personal hot tub. Ooh, okay. Here's the unboxing of my chicken club. Looks good. We were both supposed to have chicken sandwiches on perfect day today, so we both got different types of chicken sandwiches. Yeah. And Carrie, Carrie has the grilled chicken sandwich. Oh, this smells so good. We're filling this room with some great smells. <laughs> so we've been in this hot tub for a couple hours now, just chilling out. By the way, this thing fills up very fast. And it's really like, hot. Very, very hot. Shocked about how hot it is. Shocked about how quickly this thing can um, fill up. We actually just pulled the plug because we're draining it now because we're like, okay, we've, we've, we've like, raising hands. like we've been in here too long. We need to get out of the hot tub. Um, but look at this. Look how perfect this is. This is amazing. We were um, up on deck earlier and every hot tub was completely because, packed, like a zoo. And we're yeah. just very grateful that we have our own. And I don't know how we're going to go back to not having our own. Yeah, it's just like very, um, it, it's hot tub weather. It's very chilly out, yes. you know? So this is what we've been up to. Um, I think now we're gonna maybe check out the shops and walk around a little bit inside, see what's going on Yeah. before we go to dinner later, so. Yeah, we get to go to Sabor later. Yeah. We're going up this staircase right now. We're um, like outside of the casino. And I just noticed something. So this is normally where Playmakers is. And we're like, wow, there's another staircase. Remember on Playmakers? Oh my oh. God, there was a hole in the, <gasps> So it was because there was a staircase. That's why there's a hole in the wall or in the ceiling at Playmakers is because there's a staircase. Wow, I thought it was just to like peer down and up. Uh, the staircase was obviously probably there before and that's why there's the hole. That's crazy. I like the staircase. We're gonna go check out some of the shops now. See if there's anything good. Yeah, let's start with this one. Get out there. Get out there, which is named after the slogan from the commercials. And if you're a real royal fan, you will know what I'm talking about. I don't. <laughs> Fake fan. <laughs> Would I look pretty in that? Um, yes. <laughs> good answer. This is basically... Um, this is the outfit that I said that you'd look good in. <laughs> Any of these, really. This shop is basically beach wear and swimsuits. Yeah. Stuff like that. We all know that I have enough swimsuits. <laughs> what are, are the wondering. constant dinner time questions? How many, how many do you have? I don't know. Too many. 
<laughs> Carrie's a professional cruiser. She has to have a lot. Taylor Swift is playing right now, and it's very important to me that I find out if this is Taylor's version or not. I'm guessing it's not. It doesn't sound like it is. But we're going to let, uh, what is this called? Shazam. Can it tell the difference between Taylor's version or it not? It better. It's not Taylor's version. Oh, uh, shit. Come on, Royal Caribbean. Shame on Royal Caribbean. So here's the main gift shop where all the royal gear is. This is what we really want. This is the kids section. Why Nothing is standing out. I think we saw this company on Shark Tank. I don't really remember. Oh, I think you're right. Sun stashes. They make a bunch of different crazy sunglasses. This looks like Duffy. Yeah, it is. Wait, what is this? A clip and drink. You clip this. It's a cruise essential. Wow. You clip it on your chair on your sun lounger and it has it's a cup holder because it's too hard to put it on the ground yeah you put it anywhere on your chair do you think it was actually made by royal caribbean or do you think it's you know licensed logo pegs limited logo pegs i don't know it's probably it's not a toy <laughs> yes it is <laughs> i guarantee if you give that to a two-year-old they will figure out a way to play with it and have a ball do you need some cologne this is an interesting shape. Oh, it's got a, a straw. I love these things, the straw. It has, it's like a, there's a handle on it, essentially. Yeah. But right. I feel like you normally see these for Corksicle, but I've never seen this. Yeah, that's weird. And then there's a straw. It oh, says, maybe it goes this way. There oh, we go. Okay. I've, I've seen a guest wear this shirt before. It says Wakeview Best View. Mm -hmm. I thought it was a fan-made thing. Wow. But no, that's official. Do we need those? No. <laughs> I mean, the hoodie's actually cool. I have the same one that says Adventure of the Seas. And obviously oh, there's a spirit jersey. jersey. That's nice. There's Liberty. I, I've been eyeing this bag, but I don't really know what, I, nice. what, what would I do with it. This is what I want. I like um, sleeveless. Oh, yeah. And there's like a logo on the front. Well, I think we should go get ready for dinner now. I think so. It's almost time. Okay, we're super excited for dinner because we are going to Sabor, which is right here. I was just looking at the menu and there's like a thousand different things that I could get here. So I'm excited. We love Sabor. We love that it's on this ship. One of our favorite places. For sure. We got our table and we got some chips and salsa. <laughs> and um, I didn't know this, but Sabor in Spanish means flavor. I did not pay attention in Spanish class in high school, so I didn't know that. Four years in high school and it's all over my head. But yeah, this restaurant is a specialty restaurant, so you, there is an upcharge, like a cover fee type of thing. Yeah. Um, we booked it weeks ago, so I have no idea how much it was. <laughs> but I can probably tell you right now, it's most definitely worth it. The thing is, too, you can order anything. Like, I'm probably going to get two entrees. Yeah. And that's cool. There's so many good things on this menu. I literally, I, I could order anything. I agree. We love Mexican food. It's, it's literally, it's really hard to decide. I could order, like, two things from each section. There's, like, a taco section, burrito, quesadilla, large plate. Like, I could order two things from each section and be happy. I wish this place was on more ships. Me too. It's that time of the evening, dinner time question. This time, this is coming from Alex Bailey. Dinner time question. Have you met any other YouTube cruise vloggers? Okay, we've met two people from YouTube. First, both on Adventure of the Seas, our first cruise ever, because everybody was very excited to come back on board. So uh, we met Tony um, from Lolita Loca. Is that the right? Lido. Lido. Because it's the Lido deck. Um, we were hiding our poster in the library for someone to find. Um, and we saw him there, and it was cool. And he was a really nice guy. Yeah, he was super nice. Um, and he, his channel is more like news lately, but he also has vlogs, and he has like a really interesting vlog of a cruise to Asia, which I really want to do. So I loved watching his vlog on that. All right, the other person we met, same cruise. It was on Coco Key. We met Matt Hotchberg. Who we love. Who we love from the Royal Caribbean blog. He's not a blogger, but he has a He's a blogger he's with a, a blogger. B. Yeah, with a B. Um, he's the autocorrected version of vlogger. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. Um, he has the best <laughs> cruise news in the industry. He has, the, he has a great website, royalcaribbeanblog.com. But yeah, he was really nice, and um, he has a great podcast. We love listening to his podcast on our way to the term, like to the cruise port every time we go on a cruise because it's like a long drive and it gets us hyped. Those are the only two we met. 
know. We met our favorite person of all time. This was the most excited I've ever been. Oh my god. <laughs> Danny from Hard Travel. Yes. He's not a vlogger either, but he does room tours. He's a travel agent who does room tours. He does the best room and ship tours yeah. ever. Oh yeah, and ship tours. Why did I say only room? Anyway, um, he's basically making the videos for his clients. Kind of seems like. Yeah. We quote him all the time. Yeah. Whenever we say it's not big enough for a laptop, it's because he's always showing safes and he's like... Not, not quite big enough for a laptop. He has a couple of phrases he uses a lot that we like to quote. Yeah. Um, love Danny. Yeah. I can't believe I almost forgot about Danny. I know. He's just as tall in person as he seems yes. on camera. Yeah. Yeah, we saw him on our first day on Ovation of the Seas in Alaska. He wasn't even on the cruise. He was only on the ship to make a video tour of the ship. And then he was getting off before the ship left. We had joked prior to that because that was like our only time on the West Coast. We're like, what if Danny's here? Yeah. And then <laughs> he was. Yeah, he has great ship tour videos. He does. Okay, we got our first round of stuff. This is spicy calamari and with jalapeno mayo. I think that's what it said. I've never had Mexican calamari, so that sounds really cool. And then this is the queso, um, which he said it's so... Um, it's like gooey stringy. So stringy that instead of the chips, to use this bread and scoop it up with the bread. Yeah. So let's see how this goes. Wow. Here, I can do better. You can do better. Okay, but it it's was very, very stringy. It's very hot. Okay. It wasn't as the big first as, time it was more stringy. It wasn't as big as a pool as I thought it would be. Yeah. Is it tasty? As a non-cheese person, it actually does look kind of good. There's like other stuff in it. I really like, I've been eating this calamari and it's very tasty. You should try this. I also, like, I put a chip in here a second ago and you can put a chip in. <laughs> Alright. It's not too thick for that. Would I actually like it though? Because I don't, I don't like cheese. I don't want it. I want this. Okay, we got our main entree. This is amazing. I have a chicken quesadilla. We're sharing a chicken empanada. It looks so good. And then Brian got the recommendation from the server. He, he said, basically, you will regret your entire life if you don't get the shrimp tacos. And I wasn't going to get it, but I don't want to regret my entire life, so I'm, I, I had to get it. I do, on the other hand. No, but he said it was like, he literally, he said it was like, one of the, he said it was the best thing here, so. He was like, if you can't finish it, I will help you. <laughs> <laughs> Our waiter was right. The shrimp tacos are the best thing that I've tried so far. Um, everything else was really good, though. Like, em empanada. I can't say that. Empanada. I don't know how to pronounce that. The empanadas Sorry. were really good. They're really good. The quesadilla, really good. This was the best, though. I'm calling it right now. Liberty of the Seas is my favorite freedom class ship for three reasons. One, Sabor. It's I do the, like Sabor. It's the only freedom class that has Sabor, and we love Sabor. So, I mean, for that reason alone, it could probably be my favorite. <laughs> Two, even though we haven't done it yet because it's been closed, the tidal wave slide has that unique slide. No other ship has that. Three, the casino is bigger than the other two Freedom class ships. Yeah. So, do you agree? I will definitely put it above Independence. I don't know about Freedom because I really like Freedom's pool deck. I know. And I do like Playmakers, but... But I'd rather have Sabor than Playmakers. I, you might be right about that. And the slides. I haven't gone on the slide yet. Maybe tomorrow after going on the slide I can revise. Yeah. All of this feels very yummy in my tummy. And what I think is really cool is that I had two entrees and there's still like five other things on this menu yeah. that I would want to come back here and get. And I think that that's what makes Sabor such a good restaurant. Literally everything on the menu sounds amazing. Yes, whereas usually at other restaurants I have like a go-to because that's kind of like the only thing that I want on the yeah. menu. But here there's a large selection that meets my needs. This might be the best part of the meal. We just got a tray of desserts. Churros, banana and chocolate, something or other. Um, Cafe con leche. Or something? Yeah, and then this is like a coconut. vanilla coconut flan. Van we were vanilla ice cream. I think this is probably vanilla sauce and chocolate sauce. Yeah, I think I remember from the lore of the seas that I preferred the vanilla sauce. My oh. churros. So. And this is like, like he we didn't like order anything. He just like brought this. Yeah. Oh my god. 
So we were talking about Matt Hotchberg's podcast, the Royal Caribbean Blog podcast, at dinner. So Matt was saying one of his favorite shows on a Royal Caribbean ship is called Saturday Night Fever. And we were listening and we we're like, oh my God, we're going on Liberty of the Seas and Liberty has Saturday Night Fever. That's going to be us pretty soon. <laughs> yeah. So this is a, is this, so this is a Broadway show. I believe so. This is like a full length, like Mamma Mia, Grease. So the show is um, like 70s music, I guess? Like it's songs from the Bee Gees. So like Mamma Mia is songs from ABBA. Saturday Night Fever is songs from Bee Gees. And I'm not entirely okay. sure that I am like that familiar with the Bee Gees work. And so it's 70s, not 80s, right? I believe so. I don't know. Not my favorite. I, I mean... It's just not like you know, when, when they make like the early 2000s musical, we're gonna love it. Yeah. When we when there's like Britney Spears and like Taylor yeah, and stuff. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. What is this theater called? The Platinum Theater? I don't know. What was it? It's not the Royal Theater. We're in the balcony now, and hopefully it's not lame. And hopefully it's not what? Lame. <laughs> oh, if it's lame, we leave. Yeah. <laughs> so we came up to the uh, sweet, um, sweet lounge. Look how cool is it? A bunch of snacks laid out. Um, These so, are things that I've never seen before. Yeah, too. Some vegetable spring rolls, um, chicken, garlic, shrimp, some other stuff I can't pronounce. There's like oh. brownie <laughs> chocolate stuff. That's cool. Very cool. And um, they're also doing a happy hour in here with free alcoholic drinks. And they, Which we will not take part in. But They do that every night. Yeah, we will not be doing it, but they do it every night, so that's kind of cool. So we were just in the uh, sweet lounge. So we had a quick question about um, breakfast because we can go to chops for breakfast tomorrow which is like a sweet exclusive thing so we just had a quick question about that like what time it was and stuff so the concierge um, okay. guy is so nice the con the the i don't know like the sweet lounge what is this title like concierge like post or something i don't know i don't know but his name is jason and he is incredible he literally sent me an email just now and he was like do you have any questions do you need anything and then like when we went to ask um the question he was like He's like, what do you need? I can do anything. Like He was like, do you need water? Like, I'll get you anything. <laughs> yeah. And he's actually really nice and helpful. Like, yes. He was He was on two different phones to try to answer yeah. the question for us. He was like... He's he's the real deal. It's, it reminds me of the Disney concierge yes. service, but almost better. Almost better. Because it's really, much more personalized. He, yeah. He really... Like, he knows our names. Yeah. Like, and we've talked to him, like, only right. a couple times. And, like, like, as soon as he walked into the room, he, he goes, like, like oh, up, my gosh. Hey, like, you guys. Yeah. Will we have a royal sweet style Gus? I want swans. I want something grand and royal. I want a crown. <laughs> oh! <gasps> oh, my God. <gasps> Shut up. It's the turkey. <gasps> Look at his eyeballs. He's... Oh it, my god, and look, with the ship vibration, his little feathers are oh, bouncing. That, <laughs> <laughs> that's not a battery in there causing the movement. It's Can you imagine if it was? <laughs> <laughs> oh this my is god. one of the best I, we've ever received. But remember we said the turkey was... It was your favorite. I said the turkey, well I said it was my favorite because it was on Thanksgiving. This one seems better though, I'd love to directly I compare. I can't believe we got a turkey. Why did he give us a turkey? I don't or, know. Oh wait, is it a peacock? This isn't a turkey, this is a peacock. Oh my god, of course. <laughs> he knows. <laughs> this is, I think this is a royal peacock. It's not a turkey. Look, at it. a turkey doesn't have orange eyes. Maybe he was confused, and he thought that Guardians of the Galaxy was from Universal, and peacock. Universal, NBC, oh my peacock. God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, and I'm glad we got our uh, cruise compass. We didn't even have to ask. He just of gave it to not. us automatically. Of course not. But yeah, tomorrow is Nassau. It's like one of those montages. <sighs> Where should we put them? Can we put them on the piano? Yeah. Come with me. No doy it was a peacock. Of course. No doy. Should I make him like play it like he should go sit on the seat? No. How but is he? He's very wobbly. I just want him like in the middle of our, of our space. I want to see him a lot. How does this work? Oh my god. It's, it's feathers. You ruffled his feathers. No, you ruffled his feathers. I think he needs to go back on the bed. See, normally my tip is to um, hide the Gus. So that way you get a new one. Oh yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm not going to hide him this time. Let's put him in next to the face. He's playing music right now, dear. Okay, no. Okay, this is actually a good spot. And that way he can, you know, eat with us in the morning. Yeah. 
That's perfect. He's staring into my soul. <sighs> Let's see where we are right now. Yeah, today we've we've been just like cruising around. I think we've been going to like ideal weather spots and positions for the weather. But we've just been kind of like circling around in this area. Um, but yeah, tomorrow we will be in Nassau. And we actually just canceled our excursion for tomorrow because we were like, we want to stay in this room all day. Yeah, we were originally planning on going to Margaritaville, but yeah. we were like, we're probably going to be in NASA so many more times. And how many more times are we going to have this yeah. balcony with this hot tub? Probably yeah, so. never. So we're going to enjoy this while we still can. Yeah, I literally just canceled it. And we're going to have a great day in this mm -hmm. room. Coming up in our next video. We dock in Nassau, but we stay on board to explore the ship more and try out the tidal wave water slide. <laughs>